is definitely not a piece of machinery you'll find every day on a transmission line right away. But for Great Southwestern Construction, a subsidiary of MYR Group, a walking mobile excavator was just the right contraption needed to tackle the tough terrain of the North Dakota Badlands. But it wasn't the only piece of specialized equipment brought in for the job. An Ericsson air crane with its impressive lift capacity was another asset Great Southwestern deployed to ensure the Antelope Valley Station to Judson Transmission Line project for Basin Electric Power Cooperative was a success. The 345 kV 144 mile line runs from the existing Antelope Valley substation in Beulah, North Dakota, west toward the existing Charlie Creek substation in Grassy Butte, then north toward the newly constructed Judson substation in Williston. This 12.5 million 800 square foot yard was erected by one of Great Southwestern's seasoned substation crews who've built hundreds of 345 kV and 500 kV switch stations and substations across the country. Construction activities took off in September of 2014 with a scheduled completion date of December 2015. Great Southwestern set single pole steel structures in some areas, three pole and H frame structures the rest of the way. The single conductor chosen by the engineers wasn't easy to handle. It's a larger conductor than average, about the diameter of a pop can, so it's, it's heavy, it's big, and there's a lot of it. This line will bring additional electricity to the Bakken oil and gas region and beef up the system's reliability. Although the global decline in oil prices has slowed drilling down dramatically, finding local folks to work on the project at the height of the boom was difficult. Convincing others to come work in the long and cold North Dakota winters wasn't an easy sell. Even in these cold temperatures, this wind blowing out there... Keeping spirits high, high when temps were low was important, not only to retain good line workers, but also to keep them alert, engaged, and safe. During our morning stretch and bend meetings, we've added some music to it and uh, some interesting stretches. It's uh, helped boost morale and build kind of a team atmosphere here. While these line workers need a little work on their moves, they can take pride in the fact there were no lost time incidents on the project. There were several significant environmental challenges to be overcome during construction. For starters, Great Southwestern needed to set 19 structures inside the Lewis and Clark Wildlife Management Area and pull wire across the Missouri River near Williston. Further south along the Little Missouri River, adjacent to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, a pair of H-frame structures needed to be set without damaging any cultural artifacts or disturbing bighorn baby sheep. Inside an excavator designed in Switzerland for alpine work, the steely nerved Kaiser machine operator methodically made his way down the 60 degree grade. The other option was to dig four 4 by 20 foot holes by hand, a well established but riskier method. The auger and other pieces of drilling equipment were moved using a small helicopter. Great Southwestern got a slightly bigger bird to bring in the backfill. Lift the 16,000 pound structures. Fly them to their structure locations. and set them. By using some unique equipment and methods, Great Southwestern construction crews were able to get in and across the Forest Service land with minimal impact. Uh, really proud of our crews. Uh, we've overcome a lot of obstacles on this project. I think overall the Antelope Valley to Judson project has been a, a great success for Great Southwestern construction and, and also for Basin Electric. It is a true testament to the teamwork between contractor and owner.